Crypt of the Necrodancer. It's good to be back. So this is a Patreon sponsored video. So if you watch the recent video talking about Patreon videos, this is what I was talking about when I said people get to sponsor a video at the highest tier. This one is a sponsored video for Jesse Miller. It's our third video, I think. Is it fourth? I think it's third video from him for uh, Curse of the Necrodancer. Crypt of the Necrodancer. Crypt, yes, it is Crypt. I'm an idiot. So, it's been a while since I played this last. Longer than it should have been, honestly. So, last time, we unlocked Zone 3 by finally beating Zone 2. I'm gonna go back to Zone 1 as a warm-up, but hey, as a fun little, uh, nod to a certain other game I'm playing right now, I've made a certain customization. I figured this would be a decent thing to do while I try to get back in the, in the rhythm of things. So I gotta figure out how a few things work. Oops, good job, me. There we go. This game, I, I need to play it really frequently because it kind of becomes second nature when you're playing it frequently enough. Or you blow it and wait, let too much time pass and just really ruin yourself. Dude, down left. Money! I was so happy when I found out this trick. I don't really want either of those things, though, do I? Plus one dig doesn't hurt. Oh, why not? The toughest thing about this game is getting your brain to work at the right rhythm. Which is definitely something that where the more you play it, the easier it is. I have a few friends that let's play also, and they just can't do this game at all. <laughs> Admittedly, there's times where I'm, I go quiet because I'm trying to get it straight in my head. There's people who absolutely can't take it. <laughs> the tempo's changing, you sneaky ass song. Oh, there we go. Good job, me. I keep that t combo going. So if you're new around here, this is a, a roguelike game where you have to play to the tempo of the music or you're going to be in trouble. Got an enchant weapon. Let's get, let's get food. Because I could use some food right about now. A lot of bombs. But as time continues, we use up the song, and when the song ends, I go to the next floor. Or if I just find the exit. Which I think is often preferable. Because if you're switching floors on accident, it's probably not a good thing. Oh, barrel's coming back. <laughs> good job. That was not a good plan on my part. <laughs> Horizontal fire blast! <laughs> Chases his head, that's fantastic. Oh! Hi. Bad monkey. Well, I lost that completely, didn't I? So I, I, I'm really relatively fortunate right now because I have a ranged weapon, which I'm always happy to find. We have more time to explore. Let's go around for a little while. This is more like the speed, speed I like to play the game at. It's when the tempo goes up. Oh crap, it's getting slow again. Ow, I'm, I made a terrible mistake there. Why did I do that? Let's see, gain shovel bigger levels. Plus two unbreakable. Dude, it's plus two. So I should be, can I dig through this now? Yep, with the upgraded shovel. Spear! Actually, I don't want that. I don't want that. <laughs> I, want, I want the rapier. Alright, here we go. End of song. Oh, there's some dead air at the end of, this, of the MP3, apparently. That's awkward. Ah! 
just like in the other game. <laughs> yeah, I can dig that. Glass shattered. Oh shit! It, I'm an idiot. That's a glass. It was a glass shovel. That was a terrible idea. Range attack. Ta Let's try that. I don't know if I've ever, ever actually tried that one before. Oh. What? I can't, I can't, do I not? Oh, I can't afford it right now. Gotta work on that some money. Yeah, my shovel sucks now. Why did I buy a glass shovel? Wow, that's an element I forgot about. That's, a, that's exactly why I'm doing a warm up, though. With with a non canon music, if you want to call it that. Well, specifically because I die. There we go. Because I need some practice to get written back into things. Bonus damage. Ah. Uh, Range attack versus two damage. I don't know, range is pretty good. I can always come back for it, I guess. Can't dig through anything now because I have the shitty weapon- the- uh, the bad shovel. Because of bad mistakes. So now I can just stand still and keep my multiplier. Cool. Now I can only lose my multiplier by pressing it at the wrong time, which is still totally gonna happen. This is so handy. Oops, that's me being bad at game. It's because it's slowing down on me. Interesting. It's interesting that this tempo gets slow here. There's, I mean, the games like this and, and the audio surf can only really look at a waveform and just try to interpret what to do with it. But sometimes the, the results are interesting. Of course they would drop all the money on that. Diamond, please? Diamonds are important to find because they're permanent progress. If you ever played Rogue Legacy, you know what you you know the idea. Got you. Grab it. There we go. Money. And pain. Must grab before song over, but I'm messing up because the the remaining Hi! We're actually beating the first world. So, so much, I guess I don't need that much of a warm up then. Warm up then, huh? High tempo. Ow! Well, I completely blew it there. So I was having some trouble with the bow, because the bow has such long range, and in this game you only move and attack with the same button. Which means that, uh, when you're moving and attacking at the same button, if there's someone within attack range, that means you're going to attack instead of moving. And I kept attacking instead of moving and losing track of what was going on. Gotta get some practice against boats, too. Oops. Press up and down to get- oh, right. I had to remind myself how to continue. Alright. That was a little bit of a reminder of how to play this game. Can't buy anything with three diamonds, can I? Hello. I'm pretty sure I can't. Oh yeah, right, I have no, no timer here. Freeze enemies, transforms all non-equipped items. Freezing could be handy. So that, that makes new items that can show up in the random generator. Free a freezing spell could be handy against bosses like the one we just had, actually. So here's the new world that I haven't beaten before with the original soundtrack instead of my weird made-up one. Ow, why did I do that to myself? There's some things here that I've just never seen before, basically. So... Some of this is gonna be a crapshoot. Oh god, what are you doing to me? I'm alarmed. This person just makes ice. Got you. I knew where you were going. At least the timing, te the tempo tends to be more reliable in the actual included songs in the game. So I don't have to constantly figure out where the temp tempo might be going next. So that'll be handy. A spear! I like those. Bonus range against these chasing things. There we go. What do you do? Oh, cool. You cause hell. It reversed my, it reversed my directions. 
What's always rough about re direction reversals in any game is that the moment you get used to it, it switches back. And then, it's, then at that point you're like, oh crap, I try to fix it again. In my head, dumb head. Automatic freeze. Must be a weapon that freezes people that attack me. I am already half dead. Good job, me. Really nailing it today. To the store? Sure is. Down and left. There we go. Let's get our riches. Storage, seal items. Lunch for double damage. Yeah? Oh, I can't afford it. Oh, yeah, I can. I'm an idiot. Yay. Do I want one of those? Ah, storage. Not much reason not to buy that right now. Are those the... Ow, why did I do that to myself? Is that the f next floor over there? What's going on there? Oh no, what have I done? So if you fall on ice, do you apparently just start going in that direction forever? Until you come off the other end of it? Which is alarming. Didn't really mean to go for throwing dagger. I don't know what the skull staircase means yet. Oh, cool. It's metal over- it's like a metal song over here, and like a tr like a house song over here. I don't know, electronica? I just noticed that the, as you cross between the two elements, the enemy types change, and the uh, music changes. What I must have had to kill something- like that mini-boss or something? Hi guys. Ow, why did I walk into your attack range? Alright, I'm blowing it right now. Not an easy game. A lot of things to think about simultaneously. I don't think I want to break through a firewall. Oh god. There we go. We ate. Ah, fire's probably bad for me. Alright. There's a lot of enemies over here. There's a lot of enemies. Don't mind me, dragon. Why did I do this to myself? Damn it. I just... No! I can't believe I keep walking into the fire. Actually, it doesn't seem to hurt me yet. It must just affect movement in some way. Ow. That's what I get for trying a second attack. Okay. I've, uh... I've made mistakes. <laughs> well... Hey, coin multiplier, boop! Of course I'll grab that. It's just a flat increase to my quality of life for the rest of this game. There we go. Why you stop stepping on those... Hey, weird purple thing. You guys give me like, weapons? Be pretty sweet. A coupon? Oh, goodness me, I got a coupon. I, why did I do that to myself? There we go. You'll hear me say that phrase a lot, because I'm very good at doing things that I know are stupid, and then being baffled by the fact that I did it. He's trying to flank me. Ow. Wow, stayed in range for that for too long. Ow. And then I walked into dagger range. Good job. Alright. There's a lot going on in this level. It's more crowded than I'm used to, that's for sure. Aha! I've defeated you, shield man! Hey, friend! I actually found a store this time. Here we go. At least get a sword, right? Wait, are you glass? You're glass, That's aren't you? No, you're not, are you? I don't know. Let's get some money before I continue. That was rude. So I want to avoid these guys when they have their daggers out. That's when they get all st Oh, you got your dagger out at that exact moment. Meanie. I don't like these guys. Is he gonna- Stop, there we go. I think he was moving extra spaces per turn. Ow! Misjudged where the center of that shape was. Cool, I am just overwhelmed right now, aren't I? Cool, gonna die now. BRB, getting sword, so I can die with a giant-ass fucking weapon in my hand that I probably don't ever get to use. Ah! Broadsword. But when you don't know how to play games, 
You can just attack everything. <laughs> Surprisingly hard to land an attack when they're running around in a circle like that with a sh awkwardly shaped broadsword. Ow. Nailed it. So the trick with the broadsword is it attacks the three squares that are in front of you, but not straight in front of you, in a like a line perpendicular to where you're facing. Uh, you lose your unspent diamonds. Oh crap! Visit lobby, spend diamonds. I have three. Hello. Wow. Are we out of permanent upgrades? <laughs> Probably means I should be further in the game by now. Hello. Ooh. Our stores have a heart. Can't afford it right now. Hello. Slow, strong dig, long attack. Take and deal double damage. Ooh, that's terrifying. I would be a little worried about that one. Alright, let's see if I can beat zone 3 this episode. That's that's my goal. So far, we've averaged one zone per episode, but that's not an entirely fair thing to say. Because I've also, uh... No, Goblin Man, don't. I've also, uh... I, I got two zones really quickly in my, uh... In my second episode, but my first episode was just in a, a failure. Well, I was learning. I would say that true to the genre, your fails and your successes are very abrupt and surprising. So you can feel like you're having a bad episode. Oh my god, what are you and what do you do? Yeah! Don't really know what to do with those guys. Gotta figure their timing out. Oh god. Oh, I guess I'm going here now. That was a bit of a surprise. There we go. Who's an angry snowman? Well, you're dead snowman now, so I guess you don't really feel emotions. Oh, I don't have a bomb for the shop, because I used it on that badass stallion monster thing. And I'm dead. Nailed it. Do I... Wow, I have three again. Get them surprisingly fast in this uh, part of the game. Hey. Any new weapons we want? Ooh, knockback attack. Slow, strong dig. Eh, it's handy. It means you could dig through really he really big places, potentially. Those nasty brick walls early on. Alright. This, it's time for serious business, you guys. I got this. I can do it. You can believe in me. You, this, maybe not. Well, that's not good. Uh-oh. That was rude, frankly. Chasing me down my little hole, taking away more of my health. Screw it, I'm going in. I want access. Ooh, a bomb. That looks expensive. This looks like all things that I want. Don't mind me, Merchant, just destroying your magical place that you've built using the riches that you earned through hard work by just placing a bomb instead, because I don't believe in hard work. And instead, I'm going to just want to tear down people. Oh my goodness, there's a monster in every direction. How do I close this door? How do I close this door? <laughs> I don't want them coming after me. Uh, it's really worrying. I'm gonna go down here now. Ow. Wow, I made mistakes there. Wow, I'm dead. Wow. I'm blown away sometimes by how much my brain can just shut down, and it's like, oh god. I have to interpret seven different characters' attack patterns. How do I get out of here alive? And the answer is usually no, I don't, as it turns out. Ow. I actually don't know what the rule- Oh god. Okay, let's- Let's just restart that one. Holy shit, that went bad fast. I actually don't know how the weird spirit things work. They- They attack me sometimes. I need to stop chasing that guy is what's going on. Okay, let's- Holy crap, let's just start again. Alright. I've made a few mistakes. Hi, horsies. Ow. Ow. Ow! Jesus. Uh, uh, everything's hitting me at once from every direction. Ah. Holy crap. Alright, difficulty ramps up in this floor. Okay, there's a lot of enemies to deal with. There's a lot. Uh, how many do I have to spend? Three? Hi. Ten kills equals a heal. Not a crazy concept. 
Wow. All right, maybe I'll maybe I'll just maybe like I'll just later in this episode just totally nail it though. I don't know. <laughs> We're off to a bad start. So the, those guys occasionally will do a double beat just to make that more confusing. Here we go. Got a spear now. And we can come back for food if I want. What's this thing? Show's exit. Uh, I mean, I can just wait for the end of the song if I want to. Like, one of my goals is to try to find sweet, sweet loots. The good news is I have a long range weapon. Ow. Wow, blew that. But with a longer range weapon, I should be able to get away with uh, attacking certain enemies from further away. Which helps hide the fact that I don't know how, when to attack them. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that torch was a mimic. Ow. I meant to get out of the way of that. Oh. Hi. Well, I need this now, so why not? <laughs> Alright. So that was a teleport. Good to know. It was convenient because I need to go back and heal anyway. Throw my screw ups. We gotta dig. Now I can just dig wherever I want, except for there. Never mind. Disregard. <laughs> Disregard that thing I said. Back to the metal side with the metal! Ugh. Die, goblin. You don't belong in this world. Yeah, I don't know what the fire one does. At least it doesn't make me slide. It's one of those enemies that dodges behind you. Like an- oh no. I probably, I probably want the spear. I like the- the range. There we go. Look how much manageable it is. I just need a stupid weapon that makes the game easier for me. And then I win. Look how easy that is. That's all I needed all along, was just easy mode. <laughs> oh god, that's a Minotaur. Nice to meet you, sir. Ow, why did I st Wow! Series of rapid bad decisions. <laughs> I think one of the key, the key differences between this game and other roguelikes that work the same way, where you move once per turn and then everyone else moves simultaneously in that genre, is that because it's tempo-based, like, it's a genre where famously every single movie you make can make you die, like, or can quickly start the sequence of events where you, everything's gonna go worse for you. So, playing it in this context where you have to do a move every half second or so, suddenly multiplies how often you're gonna make- how frequently you can make those bad decisions to the point where you can go from doing perfectly fine to completely ruining everything over the span of two seconds. So it makes the- it makes the failures fascinatingly ab abrupt sometimes. Yeah, I need, I need to memorize all these different tempos again. I need to make sure- <laughs> I just need to make sure the next few episodes come out more frequently so I don't freaking, uh... Ow, why did I walk in front? Why did I do that twice? I was in the process of being like, why did I walk in front of you? And then I walked in front of him again. I don't know what- I wonder what I was going through with my head there. Did I think he was gonna go back up? Maybe I thought he was gonna get out of the way. Because that was not the case. I- Wow, okay, let's just start over. Let's just accept my failures. One of the bad things I'm doing is I need to, I need to stop pursuing enemies ever. Damn it! What? That's me doing it again. If I if I see an enemy go, if I knock an enemy back or something and they seem vulnerable, I stop approaching enemies. There we go. There we go. See? Stop, stu stupid brain! Stop it! Stop chasing after enemies. That's how you get hit. Ow! I, I say that as if I'm learning anything, but I'm still doing it. Okay, I don't know how the, those guys work exactly. I haven't figured that one out yet. Sometimes he pulls out his daggers out of nowhere, but sometimes he seems abrupt. I think I just want to avoid the purple guys, because they're just here to ruin my day. Yeah, the difficulty definitely ramped up very quickly. Why? I don't want you in my life, sir. Ow. Rude, frankly. There we go. See, that's how you do. I did it. No damage taken. That's how you do brain. Why did I walk in front of it? 
Oh god, there's a, there's a lot of bad things. It's really alarming. Here we go. Hey, Batman. I'm dead. <laughs> oh my god. No, it's cool. I got this, you guys. Don't worry about it. Why did I chase you? Why, why did I do it? I fucking start over. I did it twice. <laughs> I'm amazed by that. How, what's wrong with my brain where I can do something wrong and then immediately repeat that? As if that was the smart thing to do. Ow, don't chase it. There we go. Always back away first. There we go. Make some money. A whip. That's some bonus, that's some bonus attack. Bonus range. And then food will help me. Ha! Ah. Wacky whip. Oh! No, whip's good. I like whip. Yeah! Whip's really handy, except for the part where it's just a strange attack attack direction, basically. He's not gonna come down here, is he? Ow. There we go. Basically, a whip is the, uh... This game's equivalent of attacking like a knight in a chess. <laughs> you do an L attack. It's really handy though. Let's reach around them corners. Ow. Got you. Oh man, the whip is just so handy for being able to attack some of these characters. I should do noticeably better when I ever have one, so naturally I'm gonna die in the next three seconds, just just to forewarn you. Could use some armor. Ow. No! I had a heal too. Does she do bonus damage? She must do some kind of bonus damage, because I feel like I died too abruptly. Like some there's a, there's definitely enemies that do like half a heart and enemies that do way more hearts or damage. I'm pretty sure. Multiple Blur Boost Light. Why not? Why not have that? It's a fun new torch here to ruin you. Alright. Everyone watch out. Especially me. Boom. Oh. You have to attack where he's going, dummy, not where he is. There we go. There we go. Don't like how that guy's hanging out by the door. Oh, he's on the attack now. You just... Could you not? He's running away now, so he alternates between the two. Wonder if it's a ranged thing? Rude. That sweet cash! Yeah, spear. And storage. Off to a decent start, except for all the damage I've taken, and also all the other mistakes I've made. <laughs> Tempo's a little slower here, isn't it? Does that teleport me back to the shop? I feel like that takes me back to the shop. Aha! Spear! Yeah, I don't know what the fire does. There we go. Just gotta be careful about it and murder everything. I just did something really funny about attacking a torch. There we go. Probably one of the things that keeps throwing me off in this game is the fact that you consistently have to change weapons. There we go. Because you, you you start off with the weakest thing and you have to try to make that work because uh, at first that's all you have is just the normal melee attack. But your character is so much more effective the grab when you grab any weapon, basically. Okay. I was about to say, do they only run away when you run away? It's like they run- it's like they attack- it's like they get aggressive when you walk away from them. But then sometimes they're clearly attacking us regardless. I don't know how this guy works, but he's annoying me. Hey buddy, come here. Die. I'm sick of your bullshit. You have food in your, you have any food, buddy? You don't, do you? You have a torch. Might have to save this then. Where have I not explored yet? I need to find food. Hello. Why not? Might as well just hop down the next steps, because we're out of time. 
Could use some food soon, though. What hurt me there? Was it the fire? Does the fire hurt you, then? Because it seemed to not be hurting me like the other 99% of the time. Ring of gold. I think the purples only hurt you if they will push you against a wall? Maybe. Oh, that thing has a lot of hit points. And is here to ruin me. The music got interesting. That's new music for- that's new music for me. That's kind of cool sounding. This game's soundtrack is fantastic. It's, it's Danny Baranowski, right? I think I've said that before. He always nails it. He's the same guy that does Super Meat Boy and so on. Sand still- stand still to increase damage? Interesting. Why not? Give that a shot if it ever shows up. I'm gonna beat you, damn it. There we go. Got you. Fucking purples. Alright, don't... I guess when you're approaching them, their specific direction rules must get confusing. And so they sort of start attacking you even though you're technically approaching them. Or maybe it's like they attack once you're too close regardless. I don't know what to think about that. There's quirks to their movement that I have not adapted to. There we go. You gonna come here, buddy? Aha! That, that hurts me, damn it. Oh, does fire hurt you if you attack in its tile, or is the or was the boulder bouncing back towards me? I don't know what to think of that one. Not boulder, uh, barrel. I'm not sure if the barrel was bouncing back, or if, uh... Or if the, uh, Hello. fire hurts you if you attack while you're on it. I don't know if I want- I don't trust the gi. I have so much more health to lose compared to the enemies. I could try this one. Well, we're, getting, we're grinding through a lot of upgrades right now, but I'm gonna have to actually make more money if I want to buy half the ones that are actually left. Wow, just nailed that, didn't I? Good job, brain. Making all the right calls for us. That's a dragon. This is armor over here, I guess. Hey, shopkeeper, do you, defend, do you defend yourself like in a certain other game that I like? Oh, no. Oh no, I just really did that, didn't I? Cool, good job, me. I threw it down. Why did I do that? Wow. Wow, my brain. I just <laughs> did not adapt to any part of that. Ah! Hi. Alright, scare enemies away. Why not? That's silly. That's silly enough. Fighting a dragon with a melee weapon, not the easiest thing in the world, but I was, uh, trying to throw at him and I threw in the wrong direction. But I don't think- I may, I may have never thrown a uh, throwing dagger before. Apparently you choose the direction you want to throw in, and then you, uh, press that- you, you, you choose to throw, then you press that direction on the controller, and that's the direction it throws in, so it's two separate actions. I tried to prep it by facing him. This time I have some defense. Gonna wanna want some sort of weapon. Anything back here? Yeah, there is. Transformed all non-equipped items. I assume that means items that I'm not carrying? Ow. Ow! Brain! Come on, man. Come on! What? <laughs> I know how to fight those guys. Why am I not fighting them? The purple ones piss me off, though. Die. There we go. Screw that guy. Let's start. Let's start getting used to dagger. It'll save me. Ow. What? Oh shit! I didn't realize that. If I drop the dagger, I don't have a weapon. Apparently, I've never not had a weapon before. I didn't know. I actually never knew you could have no weapon in this game. <laughs> I've never had that happen before, so it's just a foreign experience. Whoops. I, re I really hate these purple things. I do not... I do not... I do not make... It doesn't make sense to me how to fight them. 
the best uh, the best thing in my in my current state is to just try to avoid attracting their attention. Oops. Stay, spend diamonds, except not. Nope. I don't really want the key. Not really interested in that one joining the circulation. There we go. See, brain, that's how you do it. You know how to do it. Stop acting like you don't. I think some of this is the thing that happens in The Witness, where it's like, on a on paper, I know how to do a thing. But then, a moment later, uh, when I'm doing it on time limit, suddenly the, my reflex is wrong. I do the wrong thing all the time. And I'm just so good at that. I really wish I had a weapon, because there's purple things around. Oh, there's... Wow, everything that causes me hell is here. So I'm so glad you could all come. Yep, that's... That was to be expected. I basically- have I survived a single siren thing? Banshee? Enemy yet? Wow. Okay, yeah, the enemies have gotten so much harder. Hello, shiny, shiny scimitar. I mean, rapier. What about BA? Ow. Brain. Come on. I feel like I'm fighting myself to play this game the whole time I play it. <laughs> hey, button. Double damage? Yeah! Come here, little purple fuck. I got a, I got a special toy for you. Let's see if I can go make, stick it out one end and have it come out the other. Aha! I waited for you. If I can store enough money, I can get this, uh, this high damage after gold pickup. Why not? An occasionally badass rapier. <laughs> Aha! I don't need skill, I have a long range weapon. I'm sure. I get the thing people do, like, no long range weapon runs where they're like, look how cool I am, I played with only the melee. But I don't. I'm not one of those people. <laughs> Uh, yes. Just wish it wasn't an apple. Got a tiny particle of health back, but it was terrible. I need better than that. Who's a bunch of nasties? Yes, you are. So worried about... I just sacrificed my timer because I was worried about getting straight up murdered right there. Got some trap doors. Those are worrying. Why not? Sh Yolo swag. I'm dead now. This is the end of me. There it goes. It goes bad so fast. Ah. All right. This may be an unproductive episode. Maybe that'll be the trend. Is every other episode. We either do, like, alternating episodes where every other episode is no progress and every other other episode is defeat two worlds. Wow, brain, brain, come on. Bad time to do all the stupid. You gotta do, like, you gotta eke out the stupid over time. Like, you gotta be equal measures. Just carefully pace it out. Otherwise, it's fatal, dummy. Oh, crap. I tried to go in the middle of his range and there was a torch there, which I should have noticed sooner. I was mesmerized by him going in circles. Oh my god, every square inch of screen up there is an enemy, and there's one over here. I don't want to. Go away. Leave me alone. I don't want to play with you guys. Ooh, chest. There we go. Long attack. Hello, welcome to my inventory throwing weapon that I will never throw. Definitely gonna grab those extra hearts. Why did I think that that would also increase my total health? I'm an idiot. I was kind of hoping that it would also increase all of my health. <laughs> like my current health. Yeah, if you, I think if you attack on the, on the fire, you just take damage. Cause I, I just did it again, basically. What's over here? Oh, that, that character was busy for a while, huh? 
shuffle for bigger levels. Why not? Multiplayer based dig. Why not? I'll grab that. Hello. Keep your enemies away. Who's a ghost horse? Ow. Good job, me. Everyone's very proud of you right now. No one's frustrated watching this. <laughs> Need to get more than three diamonds at least for a run. So I can buy something. Get out of here, Torch. Your nonsense. There we go. At least they're dead. Hey! Just as I say that, I get more than three torches. What? Oh my goodness! Oh! <laughs> I mean, that one wasn't... It was technically my fault because I went on the button, but what happened after the button? Not my fault. That was every enemy in one particle of screen. That was a special little moment for us, I think. <laughs> Return to lobby. Because I have six this time. How's it going? Temporary shield. One heart, fewer enemies. Oh, it's the easy button. Guess what you need. What? Oh, give us what you need. That's just cryptic, cryptic enough to be interesting. Huge vision radius torch. Knockback attack. Ah. Uh, I'm curious about this one. The scroll of need. Hopefully it'll occasionally be like, hey, you're low on health, I'll give you that. Which will be every time I pick it up. That's all I really care about. Ow. There we go. And then they were dead. Yeah, you go, you go, eh, ah, when you step on the fire. It seems to only occasionally be actually actively bad for you. Gigantism! What could go wrong? What if everyone could target me simultaneously? That sounds exciting. Get out of here, you gnome monster. I have a spear. No, I can't afford spear until I do this. Dummy. There we go. We have the money for the spear now. And a torch for radius. There we go. The sooner I get a fat, a a long range weapon, the the sooner we, the longer I live that run. I think. Ow! I just stopped attacking on there. Ow! Why did I do that? Don't be a dumb. Let's heal. Gigantism scroll. I don't even know what that does. Oh, gives you what you need, huh? What do I need? I need leather armor. I like you. Thank you. I feel like I should save gigantism for some kind of boss encounter. Or at least a mini boss. Oh, that was a fake one. There we go. This was a mistake. I can't control. <laughs> you want to be able to control your direction when you're in this kind of situation. Fuck you! Yep, yeah, that was the right time to use that. Roar! Ow. Yeah, don't do that on the fire. Oops, I should have checked out that side. Check out the side area. Still, we're doing okay by my standards and my standards alone. The only ones that matter. Shut up. Ten kills. Are, ten kills is a heal. More gold. Auto gold pickup. Uh, I do want more gold? But that would be the same slot, right? So I don't think I don't think I, don't think I can carry that one. Oh, well. Oh. Hope you don't like having control of yourself. There we go. Must murder everything. Ooh. A spell for healing. Oh, that's awesome. So every... F that's awesome. So every... F so every X number of kills, you get a new spell that it lets you heal again. Ow. I took... I attacked on the tile. And I'm just not learning that. Hello, enemy. Ow. Hello, food. It's one of you guys. Look, another thing that's killed me before. Hey, guys. Ow. Y'all seem friendly. In a I don't want you to be alive anymore kind of way. Alright, well, that, I blew that. But I can heal a little bit. Yay, effective spell. I say that semi-sarcastically, but it's like the only spell I've ever, I ever used, so it's, it's good, it's good. 
I tend to grab spells and then ignore them for a long time for no real good reason. Die. That's right, you fell for that bait, didn't you? I don't, I don't dare te step on the teleporter, do I? It could murk me so hard. There's a chest over there. Food. Hi, sword. Tempting. High damage after gold pickup versus long attack. Ah. Uh, it has bonus range, at least. Ooh. That's one way to make some money. And I already have a lot of money, too. Alright. What if we had a billion dollars? I'll, I'll keep one bomb for now. But I do need to find where to spend the money, too. Ow! The range on that attack was an unexpected development for me. Really gotta keep my multiplier going better than this. Hi, friends! I'm here to end you. By, by dying near Jason. Ow, there we go. Well, there goes 400 gold. I was all, I had everything I needed in the world except for hit points. That one, that one actually really hurt. <laughs> that one made me feel bad. Because I, I, I was really set up. Hello. And then I just blow it immediately. Damage non-flying enemies. That sounds interesting. Like, just all of them on the screen, maybe? Hi. Still can't afford this knockback attack one. It's expensive. I keep stopping at three or six, basically. Damage non-flying enemies. One heart, fewer enemies. Do, 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 Ah. Uh, they both could help me. This one just seems like a badass thing to just whip out during a fight, really. Nope. Off we go. Hi, friend. Ow, why did, why did I do that? Why did I... Let's just, let's just ignore my mistakes. Hey, he's back! Ow, why did I do that? Brain, come on. There's a specific pattern. Maybe it would help if I had, if I have, uh... If I had more than, like, two hours of experience with this game so far. <laughs> Hold the second weapon. Teleportation on hit. That just seems like it'd be more disorienting for me than anyone else. Little gremlin monsters chasing me around. Come on over here, buddy. Check out this freaky button, huh? Look how freaky it is. You don't, you don't care about the button? Why did I approach you? Making all the best life decisions, cause I'm good at this. Definitely not one of the people that suck at it. There. Ow. Okay, let's fucking just accept this. Wait, how am I doing on money? Yeah, it's garbage. Let's just go. Let's just... Let's just go ahead and uh, stop pretending that was gonna go anywhere. Ow. Okay, no. <laughs> just... I just watched- I, I could just see the next 12 hearts disappearing from my future. Which doesn't even make sense numerically, but whatever. Ow. I think I crushed that, sco that skeleton against that purple. <laughs> just bounces back. You can stay there, purple. Hey look, it's my death. <laughs> That's actually not too bad. Found the, ch found the shop, at least. But this prick's chasing me now. Ow. Waited for a turn to him approach me and to have him approach me instead. Yes, I'd rather just wait a beat for these characters than uh than do anything else. Yeah, that's what I need to start doing is just wait a beat for certain things to approach. Because you can go like a t one turn without losing your combo. Just an important thing I need to get down. Although I do just constantly lose my combo regardless. I shouldn't be using the sword. It's super high damage. Oops. Lost track a little bit. I should keep the sword around. That's something I can, I can grab if I want to, if I encounter something really dangerous. Wow, this dig radius, huh? Just 
everything near you gets dissolved at the same time. Hey, you. Or is that the fireball? Just imagining that as, as a pillow talk. I call this one the horizontal fireball. What? Get out of here. Use items, gain health. Oh, lose items, gain health. Uh, not right now. Maybe in the future. I mean, relatively likely in my future, honestly. Hey, you! Yeah! I love you, glass sword that I kept around for that express reason. Ow. So every few turns he claps and then everyone around him takes damage, basically. Ow. It was a trap! I slipped on ice and went straight into him. And I'm dead. Wow! Is that like a heart and a half of damage? I think it was. How many diamonds did I have? Whatever, I'll just check. Ah, uh, I might have something to buy here. Hello. Do damage as you walk, yes. Excuse me, of course. So yeah, I'm pretty sure that the, uh... I think the purples do like a- the purple goblin things do like a, a heart and a half of damage, which is pretty savage, actually. It's part of why I'm dying so quickly, is I may have five hearts available to me, but everything else kills me super quickly. Gain items, slowly lose health- no. Excuse me. No. I feel like I just interrupted something. <laughs> Those two are just going at it. I feel like I really shouldn't be here. Die. I'll gladly lose my multiplier if I have to. It just means getting rid of that asshole. Watch out, he's gonna clap! Aha! You ain't giving me the clap. What do you do? Oh, cool. So, oh no, no, no. I have the solution for this. Aha! Take that thing that shrieks a lot. Oh, ow. Whoa! Two hearts of damage. At least I have food. Because, dear lord, did I blow it there. Wow, good job, me. What's down here? Besides my incoming death, of course. Oh, there's the shop. Finding it surprisingly late in this particular playthrough. Ow! Stop attacking there, dummy. You know not to. Come over here, buddy. Ow. Wow. I tried to bait him over and still screwed it up. Kill to heal. Low health equals plus damage. Well, I spent a lot of time on low health, so it's not a crazy idea. I don't, ha oh, yeah, I don't have anything to spend there, dummy. I mean, obviously armor, though. Come on. Vision range. Probably should have gone for the rape here. Uh, armor's good, except I don't have the health to capitalize on anyway. I just changed the speed of the music with that one. It's always a weird feeling, right? Hello, random box. Alright, time to get out of here, I think. Goodbye, last heart. It was nice knowing you, but you're going to be very gone very soon, aren't you? Ow, why'd I do that? Ah. There's just so many things that want me dead. Just so many things. Alright. What can I buy at this magic shop? How's it going? Nothing new. We're running out of things to buy in the game, aren't we? Well, that'll that'll give me more uh, ability to just do quick restarts and not worry about what's at the store. You know what? Screw it. Let's just buy this thing. Doesn't hurt to have it just be an option if I want it, right? And also just make me stop. It'll give me the third option over there if they want to give me options to sell more things in the future. Ow. So now I do damage when I walk. Find better items? Excuse me, yes. I also don't know what do damage as I walk actually means in this game's context, because your normal attack is kind of a, just you walking around hurting people. 
just in more in different in different means than that. Oh yeah, no, I just heard him. Okay, but that time I didn't hurt him. I don't know. If if nothing else, I'll accidentally kill things based on it. That'll be handy, right? Ow. Or I'll just die. That'll be fun, right? Pain. Am I doing? Am I hurting people from one tile away without? I am. And then I then I die. So it's a good thing I figured out that mechanic three seconds before I lose it forever and maybe never find it again. <laughs> yeah. There's so many things after me right now. Excuse me, sir. This game is here to ruin me. There we go. Don't worry, I got this, brah. I'm only the bestest crypt of the Durker Durker to ever play in the history of the her. There we go. I seem to not be being attacked by the spirits anymore, the elementals. I think I've gotten some semblance of that down at this point. Chest. Ooh, thank you. Just do that right now. Could this be a good start to a playthrough? Don't jinx it. It just, it just did though, so you know, too bad. So up and left to heal. Gonna want that. Then up and right is a horizontal fireball. Oh, you pushed me back onto it, you son of a bitch. What? No, 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 uh. Fire oh, I shot the fireball at the wrong thing, basically. Well, I can heal a little bit. Who's a spooky horsey? Ow. No, don't do that. Dummy. Wow, that was like suicide. Good job, me. Don't stand next to it after- you have to- I have to get it when it's moving. If I stand next to it after it moves, then I'm gonna get hit. And my brain did not compute. That thing's gonna clap my face off. Shame on you. I want you in my audience. I didn't give you a ticket. Yeah, they, they stacked up for me. All my hit points are gone and now I'm sad. Alright. Bomb. I can use to you to buy more money. Buy more money. Right on up here. Just gonna keep blowing up your shop, don't mind me. At this point it wouldn't hurt to buy the boots, because I don't know how long how much longer I'll last anyway. But if it helps with ice, then that'll be handy to just avoid accidentally slipping into things in the future. I am really fucking up the timing, aren't I? I'm sorry, everyone. Let's just get in the stairs before I die. Yeah! Hey, guys. Who's here to end me? Yes, you are. Oh, they're trapped on each other. Careful. Uh, Nightmare Gnomes are here. Hey, Nightmare Gnome. Die. I'll sacrifice the shit out of my multiplier for you. There we go. I'm not risking that. Need some hit points first. Oh no, it's a horsey. I'm bad at those. I don't want it. Go away. I get to heal a little bit soon. At least there's that, right? Like one more kill away. There. That's the, that's the fireball. There we go. Heal for half a heart. It helps, technically. Up and left to stand to do damage. That has to be a profit deal, right? Yeah, bombs. Yeah. Just gonna get all the money by buying something from your store and then using it to blow up the rest of your store. Yay. Now what do I do with all this? <laughs> Hold second weapon. Why not? I have so much money. Why not? I'm not gonna live long enough to use it. But I have it, so that's cool. Still hanging out here for me? 
upright. Oh shit, it stopped on walls. Ah, my brain. Why did I make that mistake? Ah. All right, well, this has been an episode of uh, of Crypt the Necrodancer. Hope you guys enjoyed it. It's a mess, and it's a game about failing over and over again to some extent. Thanks for watching, like always. This has once again been a sponsored video for Jesse Miller on Patreon. If you want to figure out how to sponsor videos, go to patreon.com slash SebastianSB, and you can tell me to play games. And, like many of the people here, mostly pick games that I'm really going to die a lot in. And, make, and then I make all the frustrated noises. See you guys next time.